A typical day for uh, pilots uh, begins a day before prior to that uh, day. That means if I have uh, a flight early morning, then my day begins the night before because the preparation begins then. Uh, you need to be aware of which flight you're taking, what flight you're taking to where, and uh, your operating teams, of course. And then uh, once you sort that out, you go to bed and you wake up. Uh, normally, reporting time is one hour, 30 minutes before departure. So you need to be up at least two hours prior to that so that you can do your packing, prepare your uniforms, have the, la the breakfast or early breakfast with, with your family, whereas I'm a mother. So I need to sit down and, you know, have breakfast with them prior to my departure. Once I'm done with that, I put my hat and my coat, I drive off to the airport and out 30 minutes. Once I get to the airport, the first thing you do is you check in, you report that you were there an hour 30, and then you get to a dispatch office where all the briefing is done. The briefing such as aircraft maintenance issues, uh, how much fuel I need for that trip, and uh, the weather conditions in route so that you know your passengers are well informed as well or if you need an extra fuel, uh, extra routing or alternates. So you brief all that with your captain, with a dispatcher, everything is all good. We get into the aircraft. And once you get into the aircraft, the first thing you check is your aircraft status. Your aircraft has to be on tip-top ship. Maintenance has been done, checks have been done, fuel has been filled. Once you're done with that, you do your check and then prepare your route manual, which is where you fill in your destination. Once you finish filling the destinations, the crew will come and say, are we ready to board? We check everything, everything's loaded. We say, okay, passengers can come in. Passengers will be boarded and then doors will be closed. And we cross check that doors are closed and we start push back. We push back, we get to the runway and then we push that power set. And once we push that power set, it accelerates, we take off and we level off at the highest altitude that is given or scheduled for. And uh, now it's time to get back to the passengers and inform them how long the flight will take, what kind of weather conditions they will be expecting, if they need to put their seat belts on throughout the flight. And of course, treatments such as meal, drinks, and even sleeping con conditions. And once we're done with that, after level off, uh, it will be five hours into our flight, for instance, to Johannesburg, that would be five hours flight. Uh, throughout the flight, We'll be doing paperwork, monitoring our systems. Of course, uh, we also need to relax. So we get our coffees and uh, waters once in a while. We get checked from the crew and they give us our coffee and water. And then we hydrate ourselves all the way to Johannesburg. Johannesburg, once we start our descent and land and you land that beautiful 777 aircraft smoothly on the runway. And then you tax back to the gate and uh, all passengers are out. You go downstairs, look at your aircraft and say, yes, I landed that aircraft. And once uh, you applause to yourself, uh, you get back to the aircraft and pass on the aircraft to the next crew to operate back to Addis. And that would be a typical day for a pilot up until you get to the hotel, take a shower and take a nap for your next flight.